Hello from the studios at the University of Pascua Bravo. I am Gary Vernier and this is South American News Report. More than two-thirds of the people living in Mexico, Chile and Ecuador are overweight or obese, costing their economies tens of billions of dollars every year, driving rates of disease and straining health services, according to a new UN report. While the number of hungry people in Latin America and the Caribbean has been cut in half over the past 25 years, the region is now struggling to combat an obesity epidemic. Changing diets, including more processed food that are high in salt, sugar, and fat, along with a more sedentary lifestyle, has triggered a rising tide of obesity, experts say. According to the UN's Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, over the next six decades, people being overweight and obese would cost Mexico an estimated $13 billion a year, Ecuador $3 billion, and Chile $1 billion. Under nutrition, when people do not get enough food, and obesity, itself a form of malnutrition, are two sides of the same coin, and together they inflict a so-called double burden of disease on people and economies, the report said. Undernutrition impairs child growth and brain development, while obesity can lead to type 2 diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. According to the World Health Organization, obesity is an epidemic worldwide, killing 2.8 million adults every year. And obesity-related conditions now cause more deaths than hunger. In Latin America, obesity is increasingly affecting the region's poor, particularly women. In Mexico, a country that faces one of the world's most acute obesity crisis, 74% of women are obese or overweight, compared with 70% of men, the report said. The report urged food companies to play a greater role in combating obesity. The food industry has the opportunity to ensure the production, availability, and accessibility of healthier food products, it said. Governments should also do more to promote exercise and healthy eating and place greater controls on food labeling. The report noted Chile's efforts to combat obesity, including an 18% tax on sugary drinks introduced in 2014, one of the world's highest, along with laws that restrict the advertising of unhealthy foods targeting children. In 2014, Mexico also introduced a 10% tax on fizzy drinks. And 2016 research by the British Medical Journal found that the sugar tax led to as much as a 12% reduction in sales during the first year it was implemented. This has been a South American news report. Good day.